Crosby on Expedition Drenched. We team up to measure the sails and we enjoyed one of the most beautiful sunsets in Fiji. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. But it's nothing that you cannot improve for tonight, I think. <laughs> All the wind is dying down. So yeah, I think yeah. the wind down is nice. Cool, so I let you do it and see you later. Stay close when it rains. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. So today we are filming what is a normal day of work on Sylvia because yes, we have a work day. We need to edit and to do the maintenance of um, the boat. So editing is the video that you're listening to and watching. So usually we start the day with uh, tea, coffee. Some people have breakfast before to start to move a bit. I prefer to do morning yoga before to do anything else. And uh, did you have your tea already? No, I'm gonna have it right now. Good luck, see you later. Good morning, Guapa. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm preparing some tea and coffee. And so we can start our day with energy. I think most of the people here, they cannot start the day without coffee or tea. And for me, it's uh, tea. I'm a tea lover. I'm more or less the only one, except for Molly. I don't sometimes uh, takes tea. But yeah, I'm a teapot lover. What's your morning routine, Chloe? So I wake up and I'll have breakfast, which means oats, dates, uh, chia, then flower seeds, uh, coconut milk that we make ourselves. Uh, if there is some fruit, I'll take banana and apple, and that's it. And then you're ready to work? Yeah, it's a good breakfast to start the day. Good morning, Aitor. What's your morning routine normally? Usually, I wake up and then I will see what I have to, to eat because I usually like, like salty breakfast. And are you a tea or coffee lover? Coffee, always. I love olive oil. Try to eat every day. It's raw olive oil. With toast. Mm, toast. Delicious.
after our hot drink, the crew was ready to train hard. Well, some more than others. started working early. Yes, I made a thing today and it's also my cooking day with uh, Nate. So I need to take some of my time to <laughs> cook for everybody. So it's out of my normal working day. Okay, can you show me a little bit? As you know, Emily and I are newish, fresh is here. And we started editing yesterday our new episode. And can you show us a little bit of the work? Yeah, so this is a time lapse of Brett working in the engine room. Yeah, and and how do you find editing? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't um, what do you think you, you will achieve? As, as an editor? Yeah. Um, I just want to be very comfortable with most of the fe features. And yeah, I want to discover new features, let's say every week. Because uh, right now I know the basics, but it could be nice to go a little further every time and maybe do some animation oh. at one point. Oh. Hopefully, finger crossed. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let you to keep the, the good work and see you later. Me and I were just polishing up some pipes. Doing some little jobs. Why is it dangerous specifically it's in this area? It's not a very good place every time. Use the toilet. And every time that they use the flash, all the smell of the wastewater, the tank, comes from here. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? So we smell everything. Smell everything. All the fermented water <laughs> and organic stuff. Mm. We know what you've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> the face of the guilty. I don't care. <laughs> Something that people do, they just need to poo and unfortunately... People are working behind. Yeah, now I feel a bit guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We've only just realized exactly how much stainless steel is on the boat now that we have to clean it. <laughs> Fight the crash. Thank you so much. This is day four. Time is getting close and we have to check uh, whose cooking day is today. Let's have a look. Here it's Friday 4th, Nate and Emily. Let's see what they're doing for today's lunch. Hello, hello. So, so. Hey. What are you making today, Emily? I'm eating watermelon and Nate is <laughs> cutting <laughs> some veggies. Okay, let's have a look. He's cutting the saddest. Mm. Eggplants. <laughs> We're going to make uh, a green curry and just keep editing. That's the game plan. Out of the way. Mm -hmm. So, Emily, watermelon eater, can you <laughs> explain to us, please, um, which kind of curry are you going to make? Uh, what kind of ingredients are you going to use? Mm. I'm making a green curry. So, first, I'm going to chop some garlic and ginger. Fry it in the pan and then I had the green curry paste and then some more, some more spices and the veggies that Nate is cutting and then we're gonna add cans of coconut milk. Oh, sounds delicious, can't wait, I'm super hungry. Yay. We 
are talking about food and starting to see Jordan making like strange things with baking soda. Let's get more. <laughs> well, what not, are you doing here? I'm not making anything, but um, we had bananas in our freezer for a really long time, and we had a few days with no solar, and we turned the power off, um, and the bananas thawed. And ever since then, the ice cubes in the ice cube tray smell and taste like bananas, like yucky bananas, kind of. And it's really been bothering me, so today I like, uh, and I've been cleaning it and stuff, so today I'm, I'm putting some baking soda in the, the ice cube trays to try and get our ice cubes to taste normal again. <laughs> Bacon or some bread? What kind of bread? Mm. Rosemary. Ooh. Oh, perfect. It's gonna be an amazing lunch today too. Ooh. So what's gonna? We're gonna we're gonna stab Philip. We're gonna poke him. And Where? He, he wants to get his ears pierced. <laughs> and I didn't realize what he was talking about until I realized that Norea has what he's looking for. So I am I get the pleasure of poking Philip tonight. I'm gonna I'm piercing his ears. Molly wouldn't do it. She's being a little wiener about it to me. Mm, I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So good, 10 out of 10. Mm. Are you happy with the result? Good? Yes. More spicy than I expected. It's, it's really good, even if it's spicy. The cooks have to clean the dishes. So here we have Nate making that honor. Clean dishes. So after a good meal like this, we have heaps of any of you for oh, what? I'm ready to end up. <laughs> yes. So when do we have siesta? When we're sailing. That's why we sleep like 18 hours while we're sleeping. So this is the only time we get to. It. <laughs> no. Siesta. Siesta. <laughs> no, it's time to work again. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Stand oh, up, lazy well, ass. Come on. Come on. <laughs> o'clock. It's finished. Oh. I think I'm going to go for a little run because we haven't really been doing any sports on Sylvia and I don't know, I feel like my body needs some movement so uh, who wants to join me? What are uh, the rest of the crew doing? I'm not sure but probably spearfishing or snorkel or maybe a sneaky scuba dive <gasps> but getting in the water somehow. Most days I like to just keep going and going and going with editing so I really love it I have lots of ideas and I get excited by them and I just want to, want to get on with it. But today is not one of those days. I want to sleep. Now it's our turn. We have fun. So, wow. Where are we going? Uh, okay, so right here, there's a little pass in the reef. To the Salora Suwu Pass, that's where we're going. Okay, here we go. Buddha! <laughs> this is our actually pick for running to a resort right now. <laughs>
as any other day, we have some visitors in Sylvia. And do you want to meet them? Come with me. Can you introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about uh, it? Yeah, okay. I am, I'm Chris. Um, I've got a topsail schooner. Maybe you saw it out there in the sunset. Um, yeah, we sailed up from New Zealand and uh, we're spending a bit of time in Fiji. And it's your first time in Sylvia, right? Uh, you, yeah, what's yeah. What's your first impression of Sylvia? Oh, she's amazing. What a bold <laughs> for a project. It's incredible. Yeah, beautiful toy. <laughs> How do you how do you yeah, make yeah, the lovely couple? We said okay, we really wanted to go there to visit uh, to see this very interesting boat, very beautiful. It was a uh, beautifully small boat, wooden boat, but very very old design, like li li full of lines. And, and we met suddenly in this boat, this beautiful couple, he, and we invited them to come here. And you thought that was a good idea, right? Okay, what is happening today, Phil? Uh, stupid shit is happening today. <laughs> uh, I'm getting my ears pierced by Nick. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having second thoughts, so let's do it quickly before I back up. How many times have you done this, Nate? The theater assistant. Yeah. Lights, please. Yeah. Uh, I think just one. No, 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 Get it in there, Nate! <laughs> Stop pussyfooting the bat! It's entertainment, you didn't know you were getting dinner in the show as well. This is a work day, you know? A normal work day. Yeah. Yeah. Totally normal, like always. What do you think about this? I already got my ears pierced, otherwise I would go online. It's <laughs> very professional. I think if you just push that in... Hard, it, will, it will find its way. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad Molly is not doing this. That's the line he's going to use in you one day. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was brave. I'm impressed. <laughs> You're welcome. I love that. I love that after dinner <laughs> excitement. It was awesome. It was a blast. All <laughs> So, as you can see, Another ordinary, ordinary day in South okay, okay, again, again, again. Okay, <laughs> As you can see, another ordinary and simple day in Sylvia again. What do you think about it? Speechless? <laughs> <laughs>